Have you ever found yourself being challenged to forgive yourself when you make a mistake? I know as a ex-perfectionist, that is very challenging. And I had clients that had the same problem. And over the years, I have discovered a way that I could forgive myself at 100%. A lot of times when we're ex-perfectionists or perfectionists in the past, we make mistakes and we get really hard on ourselves. You know, the self-criticism, self-mockery, self-condemnation, guilt and shame, etc. And when we have all that pressure we put on ourselves, either we picked it up in the past or I did a video on this uh, of being a perfectionist. You picked it up somewhere along the ways. When you forgive yourself, it's very challenging. And what I do, and I tell my clients over the years, I tell them to forgive yourself what I do, what helps, the only way it helps. If I make a mistake, it could be little or big, doesn't matter, okay? Ex-perfectionist, everything's big if you make a mistake, right? Overachievers, mm -hmm. So when I forgive God and I forgive the humans, I ask God for mercy and grace and His unconditional love that's already pouring on me, right? So that's what's going on. God's giving you mercy and grace, unconditional love, and it's pouring on you or flowing on you, whatever you want to say. And let's just pretend it just pours on like right here. And then we need to forgive ourselves. And it's hard. So what I do is I ask God or Jesus and I'll say, can I have some of that mercy and grace that you have for me, that you're pouring upon me, that I can have for myself to forgive myself. Does that make sense? I've been trying for years to try to explain this. I see it and I do it, but it's different when I don't have a translator. Does that make sense? So God and Jesus, Holy Spirit, they have mercy and grace for you from the throne and they just pour all this unconditional love and all mercy and grace. And it's hard to receive when it's hard to forgive yourself. It's hard to forgive. And I talk about it in my workbook I wrote in 0809. It it, the 20 year pit, I think it's called. That's when I was, you know, a lot of self condemnation, guilt, and shame. And it's hard to forgive yourself when you're hanging on to that. Or, you know, um, self hatred, self punishment, self criticism, self, like I just mentioned, a few of the other ones. And it's, it's very cha challenging to forgive yourself. So, next time you have a problem, or it's very challenging. To forgive yourself at a hundred percent ask God can I have some mercy some of your mercy and grace and love that you have for me that I can borrow for myself and I can forgive myself through Jesus that's the only way I do it because if not you know so punishment it you know you know we got this God you know when you don't forgive yourself and you're doing a lot of pressure and you're really hard on yourself. You're like, you know what, God, I got this. Don't worry about it. I'll punish myself. And it can be suppressing emotions. Some people are physical harm. It could be mental harm, spiritual harm. It, it, certain, everyone's different. We're telling, hey, we got, we got this. We got this. Self-preservation. And God's like, no, I already forgave you. And then we're stuck to where we need to forgive ourselves. Well, how do we forgive ourselves? And people ask me how, and I'm like, well, this is the only way I know, and it works. Through Jesus, I receive it and willing to let go. Because guess what? When you make mistakes, God knew that before you were even born. And here we are, our human brains are thinking, oh, God's in shock, or he disappointed. Well. He knew everything according to the word. He knew everything what we're going to say and do before the world began. So is that a shocker? No. Does he still love you? Yes. He still loves us. That's that unconditional love. He's not like human parents. He's like no human. Only perfect human was Jesus. So when you forgive yourself, please remember this little golden nugget and try it. 
and you'll have to try it a few times because your brain, your soul, your body, your temple, or your heart, your spirit may, you know, challenge that. And, you know, no, you ask God's forgiveness and then you forgive yourself. We all make mistakes. Anyone that comes up to you and says, oh, I'm perfect and da 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 da, they're lying. I have not seen one clean person since, you know, since I've seen stuff in people spiritually since 1986. I have not seen one. And I, yes, I work on me. Trust me, I'm the guinea pig. This is how it all started. Work on me first, God. It impacts. When you work on yourself, it impacts and your, your, you know, your spirit's on temple and you remember it. Revival starts from within. Everyone wants to rescue and mess things up too when they're not revived from within with the Holy Spirit. But you need to forgive yourself, okay? Please. And I just come in agreement with all your prayers now in advance. I can do that. In Jesus' name, we can do that. And Holy Spirit, remind my friend how to forgive themselves when they make mistakes. And also to receive forgiveness and forgive themselves and forgive the humans. According through, through you, Jesus, though. When we are weak, you are strong. And we thank you. We thank you, God, the joy of the Lord is their strength. And they'll continue to rise up and teach them repeatedly how to forgive themselves. If there's something else, a way to teach them, do that. Whatever you want, God, your will, you're the boss. We come in agreement. We cover these prayers by blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Just know through Jesus, a gift, you're the righteousness of God, and forgive yourself, okay?